What's happening? Bone Sickle back with chapter 12 of Max Payne 3 on hard difficulty, collecting every clue and gold gun part it along the, the way. Kept on uh, thanks myself. for sticking with us. As you start the chapter so off, blind. first thing you want to do is just run straight down here, take a left, and run forward man. until you get a cutscene. Ah, There's nothing to collect so in this right. first little I room that you start out in. And uh, Max is still in his nasty wife beater. You're going to see these two guys walking off, but don't worry, you will get to shoot them very shortly so watch them walk off and as soon as you regain control of maxwell you can run in here and if you are collecting the clues here's your first one for this chapter right off the bat you want to examine these two gurneys and uh once you're done with that you can just run through this door right here and swing left there's a bottle of percocets on the shelf right there for you to grab and here's another clue already and you want to check that out, uh, Ufe. And I'm also going to show you the locations of every single painkiller in this chapter. And there is also a chapter related trophy uh, that you can get at the end, which will pop, thankfully. And you'll see how that works. So walk to these doors, you get another cutscene. Uh, our Max is going to follow these guys up the elevator. And then, as promised, we will get to administer bullets to their head areas. Make them die. Yeah. So, uh, you notice Max has this uh, bootleg homemade suppressor on his gun. So I like to run forward and take cover right here. These two guys are not paying any attention, but they will turn around after a second. So go ahead and get some real quick headshots on them. Dome shot, dome shot. And uh, two more guys are going to come running from left to right to see what happened. So go ahead and take care of them quickly. And uh, what is going on here? Why can I not shoot this guy? What? I eat a pain pill. I'm taking damage. This is retarded. This is supposed to be a really easy section right here. I have no idea why I can't seem to shoot this guy. Bullet, bullet, bullet. There you go. So anyway, once he's dead, I'm going to pick up his um, MD-97 and there is a gold gun part hidden in the bathroom right here that you will see there's also a uh, rotary grenade launcher right there um that you can pick up but i don't want to pick it up and use it um we are trying to get kills with all the weapons but i've gotten a kill with that already so once you're all ammoed up and satisfied progress forward um if you move slow enough you can actually see another enemy uh through this next doorway but i don't think the game lets you kill him it's weird it's like you see me totally shooting him and uh, I've seen sections like that earlier in the game. If you've watched all these videos, um, you've noticed me point out that happening before also. So anyway, once you go ahead, notice this uh, doorway right there to the left. Four guys are going to come running through that doorway right there that I'm aiming at. And uh, if you've watched these other videos of mine, you've noticed also that I'm not a big fan of taking cover. I like to just stand here and shoot people because sometimes it's a lot more practical. I take cover when that is practical, but right now I'm just going to let these guys come running out and uh, just pick them off as they do. So there's the second guy. Got two more that are going to come running through there, and then we'll know that it's a good idea to advance. So uh, there's Dum Dum number three. And I'm not taking too much damage with this method, but uh, once again, this is hard difficulty, and you do take significantly more damage um, when Max does get shot with the bullets. So once we've got all four of these guys dead, um, you'll see a, a guy right about there. And after you've killed him, I think that's when it's a good idea to just run up into the room and take cover on that box or whatever it is right there in the middle of the room. There's one more guy taking cover very close to me. I know exactly where he's at, um, but he just doesn't want to pop his head up and, and die. I have no idea why he's not anxious to do that. But he will here in a second as soon as I walk forward. And there he is, and there he went. So as soon as you walk out this door, a guy's going to try to jump out and surprise you. Notice that I'm completely expecting that, totally ready for him. So I put a bullet in his face, and he fell down. That didn't take long at all. As soon as you creep around this door, there's two more guys. But notice that propane tank. That will make easy work of one of them. So he gets blown up, and you will get a bullet cam right here to signify that you have completed this area. So when that happens... Um, Bullet always tells the truth, 
And this does not really look fatal. It looks like I just barely grazed his scalp. But, uh, hey, I'm not complaining. Whatever. Zombie shot. I will take it. So, uh, he falls down. And then, once everyone here is dead, like I said, you get a bullet cam. And then, you know, it's time to run forward and press triangle or whatever button you have on your controller to, uh, open this gate and progress through. Now, as soon as you go through this gate, I think it's a good idea to just run forward and take cover because guys will start to rush you. You do not want to let them run completely up onto you. So uh, notice you want to kill this guy real quick because he's just like suicide bombing right out there. So you can kill about three guys really easily right through that stretch. See I just made the third one drop. And then if you aim deeper into that room and toggle your uh, aim over to your right shoulder like that, you should see another guy right about there and then notice that hallway to the left right there watch exactly what I'm gonna do right here As soon as you start walking down that hallway a guy's gonna pop up from behind the end of it and try to kill you so I'm totally expecting that and he pops up no surprise to me whatsoever but he does seem manage to get a few bullets off so I took some damage but that's what they make Vicodin for so I chew that up toss it down and uh, you want to go on down that hall there is a gold gun part hidden right down here which I'll show you where it is and even if you are not trying to get all of the collectibles I still think it's a great idea to just come down this hallway because it gives you an excellent opportunity to very easily kill the next two guys who are across this big pit um, it's like a big collapsed room here I call it a pit so notice exactly what I'm doing just creeping around and pop up headshot like I said, I'm not even taking cover. I just like to creep around until I get my target reticle right on your head. And, well, that's the way it works. So, once they're dead, um, I'm going to grab the uh, Benelli Super Sport. Because I have not gotten a kill with that yet. And as soon as you jump down into that pit, two more guys are going to spawn. Expect it. As soon as you hop down, here they come. So, he comes running from left to right. This guy's hiding in that room up there. Headshot. And I fired a second shot just for good measure. I don't know. Um, if you want to get all the collectibles, there are two clues in that room where that guy came from, and they are kind of close together. Once again, anytime there are two clues very close together, it's easy to examine one and neglect the other and not realize it. So be careful of that. Make sure you examine both the passport here and the photos on the wall. And as soon as you exit this room, a uh, guy is going to come running out of the next area and try to surprise you. So do not be caught off guard with that. You notice he actually come out while I was switching weapons. But thankfully he happens to be a bad shot and I didn't really take any damage at all. Or barely. So anyway, there's three more guys around to the right. Watch out easily. You can kill them. Head hunting. Blah. Blop. And you will get a bullet cam. Pancakes for everyone. Cayate la boca. Sometimes you just have to bite the bullet. And once they're dead, uh, the bullet cam lets you know that the room is clear. You can run all the way back down here for a bottle of Laura Tabs. When you find yep, yourself in like hell, to get that. Dance with the and um, then whenever you're ready, you can shoot this uh, propane tank to blow a hole in the wall. Now at this point, it doesn't matter what long gun you have because you will uh, lose it as you go to the next section. So um, just keep that in mind not to waste time too much picking your long gun or whatever. Now if you follow me, I'm going to show you where another gold gun part is located. And other than that, there are no collectibles, nothing important in this entire section. And as soon as you run to the end of the hall, you trigger a... Uh, cutscene that's almost two minutes long so there's a gold gun part and here comes this two minute cutscene that you cannot skip so it's a good time to make a quick run to the kitchen or whatever and um the uh video response will pick up where this leaves off Buffet. thanks for watching that deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute